This here is uh, just a short video on my uh, brick mailbox that I designed. Uh, this is how I did it. Um, I've seen a lot of videos out there on guys that have done it. Um, got a lot of great information, especially as far as uh, how to lay the brick, because I'd never even laid a cement pad before. But uh, here I've taken out the perfectly good uh, mailbox and uh, started the digging process. And uh, then here I'm actually uh, laid my brick, and obviously I've got it close to the mailbox. Grass plugs are, are used to put back in after you've uh, built your cement forms. Laid out the brick so I knew exactly how far I needed to dig and uh, what my dimensions were going to be um, as far as my brick. And I did that before I ordered the actual, you know, brick itself as well. So didn't actually have. Uh uh, a diagram or pattern that I was using other than what I had in my head but here's my uh, concrete form that was built built it out of two sixes I went a lot deeper because I just didn't want it uh, tilting uh, you, I actually used about nine bags of concrete which is probably way too much but I went bigger and stronger in the middle and used some concrete rebar which you'll see in the back two pieces there uh, right here it's actually showing them and my my first row of bricks actually tied in and laid I laid inside of that uh, in the two rebarb holes there at the back so putting the level on first obviously I did that before and I leveled my concrete form before I put it in but uh, now it's just a matter of just playing around with it and uh, here's my first row put in and uh, and tied it in so um, this is more kind of step by step how I did it I had to rake my joints because up on the house uh, you'll see when I measured them my, my joints were actually raked and uh, so you need to let that set up for probably about an hour or two before you actually rake your joint to get the cement out of it. If it sets up, uh, <laughs> it's really, really tough to get them uh, to rake the joint afterwards. Here's just a fluttered uh, where I'm actually ready to lay the brick down. And obviously I, I've got way too much excess uh, mortar all over the actual bricks, which I would recommend trying to keep as clean as possible because it is a mess when you're done to uh, clean all that up. And this is obviously, it's, it's going up quite a few rows. I went up about 12 ro rows before I actually laid my mailbox in. Built up, uh, there's eight cinder blocks used and then two rows of actual brick uh, to, before I laid my mailbox. And that gave me my level uh, for setting the mailbox in. In the bottom of the mailbox, it's got actual holes in there. Uh, and then I had to cut some brick. And so I went out and bought a, a cement grinder, uh, which obviously, I, I mean, it made it to where I can cut these brick and, and lay them in. So. Went ahead and cut all the brick before I started laying it uh, when I laid the mailbox in. I had two extra pieces of cinder block, but that's just showing the, the blocks that I used. Here it's actually coming together pretty nicely. Um, and then I went ahead and Use my dimensions in order to limestone piece here and, and match it up with the limestone that's on the house and that's actually the top piece that's uh, going to be on at the very end. It takes a while because I wanted a chiseled edge rather than a honed edge um, and that costs a little bit more but it, it ties in with the house. It's, it's chiseled up at the house. This is looking down inside the mailbox, the back side. As you can see I've got way too much excess mortar and it was a a lot of work to clean it all off and here here's basically I'm getting pretty much finished I'm just waiting on the limestone top it's looking good it's clean I've got to use my muric acid and my cleaning solutions to to get all the excess off and wire brush and uh, seem to work pretty well to to get it all off and it's coming together just waiting on the limestone top and here's basically just tools that I've used which that worked real well to help get that it's a wire brush that I put on a drill motor just to you know use to get it off these were chemicals that I actually got at the brick store itself and these are tools that I used I put in my make sure you put in weep holes and coast water gets inside of it you want it to be able to escape or else your it'll deteriorate your your concrete and then this is the limestone finished product that I've been waiting on to put on top but finally finished it's done and uh, so I hope you guys can can use the tutorial to 